everybody how's it going jesse nyberg here welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in a new office space and i got um some new lighting and cameras so hopefully uh we're gonna have a lot better production value from here on out. Today we're gonna be going over how to create a typographic poster in Adobe Illustrator. Very like Swiss design, international typographic style inspired. And we're actually gonna be doing it for one of my favorite artists right now, um, Kei Trinata. He recently released the instrumentals for his album called Bubba. So I figured we can do this cool poster for like a twitch live stream listening party thing hopefully you'll learn a thing or two if you like this video please always remember to like comment subscribe helps me out also link in the description to the patreon discord and a bunch of my other affiliate links for the products that i use and with that being said let's get over to illustrator and get into it like I was saying before, this poster is going to be heavily inspired by like Swiss design typographic style of posters. So I really like this look right here. We want to do kind of a sans serif and some different colors, maybe some simple little illustration shapes. First, if you don't know Kei Trinata, make sure to check him out. Amazing producer, DJ, artist. So the first thing I usually like to do when I'm creating a poster like this is set up the grid. So you want to go into your preferences guides and grid and I actually want to change how this looks right here these are kind of too big for me right now so I think I'm gonna do grid line every two yeah I actually want to change the subdivision too all right maybe four should be good yeah all right, and you can see that red line right there, that's our bleed. And that's what's gonna be for printing if we cut out. All right, so now that we have our little grid here, I'm gonna start with getting the information for the poster. Have it pulled up right here. All right. I usually like to just throw all the information I'm gonna use into a uh, to basically like onto the document that way I can pull from it and I know which the way I need to create my hierarchy and things okay there's that let's bring that up mm. I think I'm gonna use this font rock grotesque for most of this um, it's really good grotesque font and helps with that style that we're going for Mm, let's just do medium for now. All right, cool. So this is our basic information structure. We have K Trinata, Bubble Instrumentals, Bubba Instrumentals Virtual Listening Party. We have the location, live on Twitch, the date, October 15th, 2020 and then the location, which is uh, broadcasting from Toronto, Canada. All right, here's some examples I pulled. I'm gonna take a look at those. The way I think I wanna structure this is this main middle area is gonna be my main like content square and then the top right and left are gonna have some text here and then some more text down here. Bam, we're in business. All right, so my main thing now is I wanted to use this kind of big eyeball type shape because um, on the Bubba album art, looks something like this. So I wanted to recreate that, but give it a more 
I guess not modern, but fit this aesthetic. So we're gonna need to create that shape. I think we'll do it like this. Create two circles and I'm gonna overlap them. Yeah, then we'll use the Pathfinder tool. If you wanna learn more about how to use the Pathfinder tool, check out uh, my video, I'll link it in the description. Hmm. What do we want? Intersect. I think we're going to need this to be a stroke though. So we're going to switch that, bring up the stroke panel and then show options. We want to get this pretty thick. Actually might use one of my, um, letters as the, for the width, let's see, how does that look, that's pretty cool right there, want to make this bigger though and I'm going to readjust the stroke, 40, is that going to be too big? All right, let's mess with some of these settings here. I'm gonna make a copy. I usually try to keep the original copy outside my artboard, that way I still have it. So now this is um, control Y to see this view. Now this is made into a shape instead of being a stroke. Okay, we'll bring that up. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it works though, being that large of a object like that. Might be cool to create like a pattern out of it. Let's see. What's our grid looking like here? We could do it. Let's get this, move this version over. Let's make them the size of one of these squares. So we'll drag that right there. Something like that. Bring this up over and start it here. And now we're going to use the blend tool. We're going to grab this, bring it to there and then grab the blend tool. Oops, wrong one. Blend tool, click here, click here, and then double click into the tool and we'll go into specified steps. Do I want six or eight, four, mm, one, Let's do six. All right, and then we'll create a copy over here and do the same thing. Actually, we can expand this now. So highlight it all. Oh, we don't wanna grab that though. All right, we're gonna highlight this object, expand. And then we're gonna go blend tool. Bam, bam. Now we want, I think we'll do four. All right. It's looking pretty cool. I kind of want to overlay this big one in the center. See how that looks. Let's center it to this selection. So is this one big group? Yeah. Line to selection. There we go. All right, now we got to mess with the colors. I was thinking of doing either maybe 
like a purplish and cream or take inspiration from this little eye right here color. I actually want to move all this slightly. All right, sweet. So back to the colors. Let's open up my swatches. I was thinking doing something like this. Let's get my big area, grab the square tool, send that to the back. Um, I like using this, some of these presets just to start looking around. Russian poster art. I usually like these ones. Okay. The Twitch purple could be used in that. Let's edit this color a little bit. There we go. Let's edit this color a little. The slider is how you can mess with the different values, saturation and everything. All right, I wanna save that color right here. Same with this cream. So if you click the color swatch over here and drag it to your swatches panel, you can actually save it right there. And then what I want to do is probably create some kind of square right here. Oh, I need to change my grid settings to turn off grid and back because I now I covered it. Now we're going to make that that purple. Bring that right there. Bring that over. All right. Where's my bleed? There it is. Get this all lined up. And then control uh, left bracket to center back. There we go. Want to make these my color right there. And then this one's going to be the purple. I want to bring that to the front actually. Actually, I kind of like it behind. We're going to have to mess with the modes and stuff on this. Where's my transparency? All right, I wanted to use this color and then make it darker. I gotta expand these, I believe. All right, it's looking pretty good. Make it that color and then I wanna bring down some of the values and bring up that. Yeah, there we go. I think I do want this one in front. Now that we have this big purple bar here, we might. Might want to do that just for the bottom. I use the eyedropper tool to grab my color real quick right there. All right, let's mess with the transparency here, 50%. Move that up. I actually liked having this 
right around there. All right. Hmm. Which one do I like? I can't tell. I'm gonna create a new version. Okay, grab that. Alt drag with the artboard tool to switch that over. Could even do none. It's kind of cool like that. Bring that down some. Need another row here. I'm gonna lock this back layer. Why is it doing that? There we go. Group that. Bring that up some right around there. Kind of liking that. That's pretty cool. I want to center this piece though to this big group. So what I'm going to do is grab this. Come here, align to selection. And there we go. Hmm. I don't even know if I, what could be cool is cutting off the area in the middle to kind of highlight that more. I'll just do that an easy way real quick. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like it like that. All right, and now we're gonna save these out. That's pretty much it for the Illustrator. Just quick on the fly, a little type poster for Katronata. I'm gonna take it into Photoshop and give it a little finishing touches. Load. Ah, I'm all out. There we go. I just want to give this a little texture. I'm going to use this natural paper texture. All right. Let's see, I think I want either overlay or lighten. I think overlay, and we'll do 25. Mess with the curves a little bit. Do that at 75. All right, and then this is pretty much good. I'm gonna save this one out. Katronata Twitch Poster V1. And what I wanna do is go into my Hue and Sat and just create like three more different color variations. This is a super quick, easy way to do it. Negative 25, 25 maybe, let's see. I like 100. Yeah, that's cool. We'll save that one. And this would be cool for like big wheat paste or like if you did a four column like poster up on the side, like on a big wooden uh, wall or street corner. Since I like that one, let's try negative 100. Yep, super dope. So it's good as if you get good color values like that purple and that cream, you can actually apply that to different hues and it usually works pretty well. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a thing or two. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like this, it really helps me out. And I'd love to see you guys apply the, any of these techniques to some of your posters in the future. Feel free to send them to me. Uh, and also in the description, check out the Patreon and the Discord. Until next time, peace.